All right, carrier, big boy. I don't even know. This is probably, I haven't looked at the tag more so than refrigerant. This is probably a 12 or 14 ton unit. Uh, they got a good in-house guy. They had AC problems. He came up here and immediately noted that there's oil everywhere. And then he found rub outs. So this one, I think it actually, only this part of this line is actually rubbed. I don't think that's dead yet. But as you go through it, this was here rubbing this right here. So, all right, well, let's see what kind of pressure we got left in it and what we have to do. And there you have it. Well, at least you don't have to worry about recovering anything. Um, all right. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, look at that, man. Goddamn. Uh-huh. Look. First stage. 29 pounds of refrigerant, bro. 29 pounds of refrigerant. This thing sounds terrible. Uh, I already weighed in 13 pounds out of one bottle. I got 10 more over at 23. But it's 6 more pounds. Okay, it's been all sorts of crazy. And so they didn't have AC in the dining room, so I've just been rolling. But there's basically possible rub outs everywhere. But we have repaired the problems that were problems, okay? Pressure tested, leak tested, vacuum tested, evacuated, and charged the system-ish. I still need three more pounds of gas. I emptied the two bottles I had in my van and I've got somebody picking me up a new bottle um, heading here right now. I just turned this off so I could talk because it's so loud. Uh, but I've got about 26 pounds in first stage. Uh, second stage also, uh, it's funny, this is second stage. This is first stage. So we had to deal with both. Terrible. Uh, anyway, so now I'm waiting. I don't have any charge in the second stage. So we're gonna weigh that in. But I just wanted to give you the what's up. But uh, I mean, it's just so much, right? And this is where a good PM, you got to come in here and really look at everything and go, all right, I mean, this, you're talking about $2,000 of refrigerant that this thing dumped. So what if it even costs $500 to come in here one day and go through this whole unit and make sure everything was golden? You'd be plus 1500 bucks. This is what I try to get owners to understand, you know, and it's, it's it feels like a lot to say, well, you know, geez, I just you're going to pay a guy to come and and hopefully it doesn't break down. Well, yeah, correct. But also your dining room is 88 degrees last night. So I don't know. I mean, they're good operators. You know, they get it. And, and that's we all have our own perspective. But my perspective is I don't want this for them. Right When I hit send invoice in my program, that sucks for me and it sucks for them. Because uh, I don't want them to feel like, man, there's a, you know, all my time and 30 pounds of refrigerant and you know the fittings and the vacuum and all that. It's like, I'd have much rather come out and prevented it. So we're, uh, we're still taping up wires, making sure that we're good to go. But yeah, buddy. And then I'll show you the whole charging how we because we're real close um how we use the the chat i know the sound of the vibration of this compressor is crazy the rubber feet are not taking care of it here's how this works compressor discharge pressure 375 so let's mark that 375 okay outdoor coil leaving refrigerant temperature so that means coming out of the condenser coil that is that 98.5 degrees so if we take our 375 and chase it up to 98 that puts us right there we're close but add charge if above the curve right i'm 98 so i'm probably more like this I know I'm three pounds short. Shark tells me I'm short. All right, I had to run. Uh, we got that 
done. The AC's working fine. But I realized there's something I didn't show at all or talk about. And that was that cap tube that broke loose off of the TXB of first stage. If you go back to the beginning, the first clip of the video, um, there's a cap tube, right? So similarly to the, uh, the TXB sensor, there's a third line, which is an external like equalizing cap tube and it runs into the suction line. Um, there's going to be a lot of arguments whether you need it or not on refrigeration. They need it cause they're pumping down more this unit. Really? I, I have a similar unit at a similar dairy queen that that rubbed out and broke and I pinched it off, torched it shut and I've never had a problem and it's been years. So um, that's what I did there as well. I pinched it off and then I actually cleaned it and torched it at the, uh, at the uh, suction line. She's running like a champ. So uh, we are here at the next one, but before I posted the video, I realized there was no ending to it at all. So catch you.